Hi, my name is Emily and I'm a first year medical student studying at the University of Birmingham. I'm vlogging every week of my medical school journey, whether that be studying, playing games, exploring Birmingham and even more, so stick around if you enjoy. Good morning. So it's just gone at 4.50, my alarm went off at 4 and I just turned my light on. So I'm going to lie here for a bit more because I did not sleep very well, so I'm going to lie here awake until I need to get up. I want to get out of bed. I'm going to stay out of bed. That's what I'm going to do. Early Monday morning I got on with my muscles of mastication and skull lecture. So this lecture is on the muscles of the facial, so facial expression and chewing, which is mastication, a very fancy word for my chewing. And that's what I got on with this morning. It was very interesting, but quite challenging because there's a lot and lot of nerves and muscles and places that that can affect and facial expressions. And it is very interesting, but also there's a lot to learn. I just wanted to stop mid lecture because it's between two videos sorry about that so I just wanted to stop between the two videos of this one lecture and talk to you about the MJM module so the MJM module is my muscle strength and movement module and it is by far my favorite because a lot of it is just I know that sounds really bad but it's like a lot about learning the muscles and understanding how they work and then how that links to all the problems in the body and I'm enjoying it because each muscle is so interesting on its own. We just got an email from the university saying you need to know every muscle and its origin and its insertion and its attachment and its blood supply and its innovation. And that is a lot because there are a lot of muscles in the body. So I'm kind of feeling overwhelmed but I'm going to keep going because I'm on muscles of mastication and mastication is just a fancy word for chewing. So I'm going to work on those and then when I'm making my flashcards for these I'm going to make sure I have a flashcard with a grid for the oral muscles or something and then it has like attachment insertion and all the different things so that when I'm doing image occlusion I can look at it and go innovation of this muscle is that and I can work on that because it might help with remembering all those facts and I've got a worksheet to do so I'm going to finish this lecture I've got a 10 minute video and then a two hour worksheet to get done and then I'm done for MJM today but I'm going to keep going because we have in person and I have to be practical at 12 so that's what I'm going to make make sure I'm there for it is now quarter past seven and I'm doing pretty well I am again and I got on with my lectures for the morning I had to get this IRM lectures set done before I go to work because I will not have chance to finish it due to work starting so early and I did not get around to doing it the day before so this is me getting on my IRM lecture which is one of my most challenging modules So I just finished one of my lectures for the day, I watched all six videos, answered the questions and started my flashcards, but now my alarm is about to go off to remind me to leave for work, so I'm going to work. Um, I woke up early too because I had to finish all my lectures by one o'clock, but because I finished work at ten and I've got about four hours worth of lectures to do, there's only a three hour gap between the sessions and that three hour gap isn't even going to be full because I've got to eat lunch and walk from work to uni. So I had to wake up early, I got one of the lectures done. I've got to finish the worksheet, although I did that yesterday, which is why I don't have to worry about that. And I've got the two one hour lectures left now. So like, I should make it, I should make it. After work, I headed to the medical school where I sat in a computer cluster and did loads of work. So I'm just going to catch up on what I did today. I got up at four, did my PK4 lecture, went to work at half six, finished work at ten, went to the medical school, did the other two lectures for the day which were about an hour each, managed to get to my 1pm on time and having finished lectures and having like 20 minute break to eat which was great. 
did our SGT, which was just our M group working on the qu case questions from a thing we got last week, so like the last week's teaching on the case for this week, which was nice to see um, how much I understood and how much I need to go back over. Um, then we had a Zoom online, which I logged in, kicked me out, I logged in, kicked me out, logged in on the computer like that's connected to the internet and it finally worked. So I joined that for an hour. Then we had an hour break in which we had um, a little rant about stress <laughs> because they did not have that great of a consolidation week and I didn't do any work, so <laughs> we're fine. <laughs> but that's what medicine is sometimes. It's just taking a break because you're stressed out and that's what they did. So I wrote the references. I was listening and talking and chatting and everyone was getting along and I was sat doing the references for our CBM essay that is due next Tuesday. Um, then we went to our in-person lecture, which was a spirometry demonstration, which was very cool and interesting to see how like all the stuff we did today applied. And then I finished and I wrote my end of placement review, which is due for Thursday, and finished my editing the bits of the essay. So we're writing a group essay. The three of us have put things together and we went through it together and we put in edits and we put in what we needed to change, what we needed to do before we were next together. And I needed to edit a few things and that's what I did today almost done i've just got one paragraph to finish which i was gonna finish and then my alarm went off to tutor so i tutored seven till eight and it is now five past eight and i'm gonna get something to eat for cbm this year we had to do a group essay this is a three person essay where we all write one literature review and this is me and my friend Mo who's in our group going through together and slimming down the word count he and I were editing at the same time it just made this process a lot easier and quicker we also had some comments from our other group member who was doing her research taster so we tried to get this done as quickly as possible and we managed to slim it down to under 3,000 words so that the submission was ready for next week So I just finished editing my part of the essay, it is done, I just fixed the references throughout as well as making sure that after the bullet point and after the colon, but all that sort of thing. And now I'm just waiting, at 10am we are doing a Zoom to talk about the references, the bits that are missing and see if we can find them, and write the conclusion of the essay. I'm filling in the cover sheet now and what each of us did and then I'm going to send it into our group chat and then we're going to edit that together during the session as well. And then it might be done, our group essay, which was hard at first, but it actually evolved into something very interesting to try and do, because when you're writing scientific papers, you'll write as a group, so it was very fun. My final day of GP placement now. I was in a rush this morning, which is why I didn't catch it this morning, but I just got here. It's okay. So I'm back from placement, I got back at six. It was an amazing day. It was my last day of placement in year one, which is kind of sad, um, but it's nice to be able to focus on my modules now and think about that, because my CBM essay is done and all my placement days are done. I've only got one non-clinical day left, so not much left of CBM, but it was so fun. We practiced taking bloods on a model and oh my God, I was just like, this is so fun. I'm so excited to be doing something clinical. And we got to talk to patients, take histories, and watch some, observe some things. So I watched GP, healthcare practitioner, and physio today. So it was very interesting seeing like such a wide range of people and how they work in the GP all together all at once. It was so fun. Going to the medical school is like almost seven o'clock, so. I hadn't been to the library in a while so I decided I was going to set it up in the library for this day and I got on with the work as early as I possibly could, did some group work and then in the computer cluster until the end of the day for a final lecture. I just got back from the medical school, it is almost five o'clock, yeah half past four, it's half past four. Um, I'm going to read through the PAS in-course assessment guidelines that just came out 
and kind of understand what I have to do for that. We're in a group. Um, our M group was split into three and I'm going to make a group chat and like a file folder so we can get all our stuff sorted because Ramadan's coming up and almost all my group is going to be celebrating and they don't want to do too much work during that so we're going to try and get it done before and have like a little idea of what we're going to do so that during Ramadan they can just do their part and we can practice it when they come back so they can enjoy their time. Um, so that's what I'm doing now, I'm reading through the guidelines and figuring out what we're going to do. I am heading to work. After a shopping trip, I set up in the kitchen to do my dig lectures to catch up with those I'd missed. It's been very challenging to keep up with dig, there has been so many lectures, like 12 hours of lectures one week, and how am I meant to do that in one day? And honestly, catching up was very very useful because this helped me so much with the group work for the week and the week after so I'm glad I got on with this in the kitchen whilst nobody else was in because it was so much better than doing it in my room and I really could not be bothered to go to the library especially with the fact that I was doing my washing so it was a very good day catching up and I managed to make up for a lot of lost time So I've given up with lecture catch up because I am not in the mood. I managed to finish quite a few of them. I think I've got three videos left, I want to say. Hyperlipidemia and then two from DPS. I have loads of stuff to do for Monday. So my plan is go over my flashcards. <laughs> I'm going to go over all my reviews. I've got 212 because I've not done any this week, which is really bad. You should not do that because you should do reviews. It really helps. So I'm going to do 212 reviews, one new one. I just want to get the reviews done. Then I'm going to set the new ones to 20 cards and I'm going to go through all modules except dig and do 20 new cards because when you go through and I press year one semester two, actually I'll show you. Press year one semester two, I get this and then I press study now and I study now. The problem with this is, is it is only randomizing cards from dig. So almost everything I've looked at is from Dig and these are just because I selected those and like drug, dragged them out and did those individually and I don't want to just know Dig so I'm going to learn 20 to 30 new ones per module to make sure that I'm looking at all the modules. My reviews, it has just gone quarter to six and I'm going to eat because I am really hungry but I wanted to get that done so I finished my reviews, I'm going to eat and then I'm going to do some new cards until anybody gets back because I'm bored and I'm on my own if you cannot tell. going to work and just grabbing some breakfast. After work I got on with editing the video and doing some more work at my desk for the day. Sunday was a very chill-ish day, got on with quite a bit of work and definitely edited next week's video. Anyway I just finished uploading the YouTube video for next week and editing that so now I am going through my my tutor training which is a website that you can sign up to as a student so you can tutor because the two clients i have are likely going to be leaving me at the end of this year so i'm going to finish the training for the website so i can get more clients through this and hopefully continue that through summer so it is the almost the end of the day it's about 5 pm and i think i'm going to finish the vlog here so thank you for watching if you enjoyed please like comment and subscribe and please feel free to come back next friday at 6 pm when i upload next week's vlog